Hi, uh, in this session I'm going to show you how to um, log your queries and see uh, what exactly this statement over here means um, in uh, plain SQL format. So there are a couple of ways uh, to do this. Uh, one way is uh, to just uh, use the to SQL command, uh, to SQL function, sorry. Uh, so to SQL works on uh, the query over here. Um, the problem with this type of um, with this um, function is that it uh, you you have to not include the get function over here. So uh, if I if I include the page in it uh, function uh, in this statement, then it will not work. So you can directly use to SQL command. So uh, let me go and refresh the page and it will give you the SQL query that you are using. Um, the other method um, that I found helpful uh, is using the uh, cat query log function. So to do that, um, you have to use the DB class over here and enable uh, the query log. So connection, it's a function, and enable query log. Now um, uh, I'm going to uncomment this one out, and I'm going to say query equal to my db class um, get query log and I'm going to tie dump this tie dump query now it's going to give me a more detailed view of my query uh, there you go so it's querying it's, it's giving me two queries uh, that's how uh, Laravel uh, builds up the eloquent queries. So it's giving me the count first and then it's working on the articles query. Um, uh, you can do uh, more than this over here. So if I say that I want this result along with, um, along with my uh, other entities, so say suppose uh, I have an article over here and I want uh, uh, article images and tag. So I can say width and I can just pass an array over here and um, I can say tag and article images. So if I refresh this, I'm going to get four queries over here. One is the count query. Um, the next one is just getting the articles. Uh, the other query is uh, joining on the tag column and this query joins on the article images. So this gives you the whole view of uh, how your queries are built uh, using this uh, eloquent uh, ORM. So this is a very helpful tool if you want to debug your queries and see what went wrong if there is an error. Um, that's it uh, in this session and if you're finding this video is helpful then please like or subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.